Ready for the full Loud House house tour? Even from the outside, you can tell the Louds are serious about having fun. Bikes and toys are everywhere, even on the roof. Wait, I thought boomerangs were supposed to come back. Anyways, let's kick off this tour with Lincoln's bedroom. Lincoln's the only one in the Loud House with his own room. Being the only boy in the family comes with a perk. You hear that? Me neither. While my sisters all have to share bedrooms, I get my own. Sure, it's just a converted linen closet, but it's my own space, and I wouldn't give it up for the world. Lincoln has pretty much everything he needs in here. And a savvy poster, his comic collection, and all the orange polo shirts he could ever want. Lisa and Lily's room is right next door. The two youngest louds share a bedroom, but Lily, well, she still sleeps in a crib. Their room also has a changing table for whoever's on diaper duty. This shouldn't be too bad. I've seen mom do it a million times. <sighs> Lincoln, speak to me. My, my whole life just flashed before my eyes. On the other side of the room, Lisa has lab equipment so she can pursue advanced scientific research and put her theories to the test. <gasps> Hope you're watching this, Einstein. Here goes nothing. Better not end up in the dark ages. <sighs> I made it. Yep, all 11 toes, still there. Her experiments are extremely complex, so just don't touch anything! Ooh. Lola and Lana are across the hall. Beauty sleep is a major priority for Lola, so she has a bed fit for a princess. I'll just go to sleep with mom and dad. Uh, that's not an option. Well, neither is losing my beauty sleep. Good night to you, sir. She also has a tiara collection, a play kitchen, and a tea set, so she can host parties for Mr. Sprinkles, Eunice, and her other stuffed animal companions. Mr. Sprinkles, Eunice, tea, I'll make it extra sweet for you. <laughs> oh, no. Lana has lots of animals, too, only hers are real. She also keeps a terrarium and a heat lamp right next to her bed for her cold-blooded buddy hops. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Hops isn't the only pet around here. In addition to one boy, 10 girls, and two parents, the Loud House is home to Cliff, Charles, Geo, Walt, Gary, Izzy, Bangs, Bitey, El Diablo, and all of Lana's other pets. Lola and Lana are right next door to Lynn and Lucy. Lynn has pendants and posters and her lucky jersey. She also put up a basketball hoop. It's for her flibber. Your what? Flibber. It stands for football, lacrosse, ice hockey, baseball, basketball, and roller derby. Oh, that's great, honey. Those are all temporary, right? Her roomie Lucy has a different style. Most of her furniture is her favorite color, black. Lucy loves vampires of melancholia, so of course she has a statue of Edwin. Don't worry, Edwin. You'll always be my undead soulmate. But until we're united, it'd be cool to have someone to hang with. I knew you'd understand. And she can work on her poems at her desk when she's not writing somewhere else. What? I'm in. Hey, Lincoln. Ah! Lucy, what are you doing in here? I come here to think. I actually just wrote a new poem called Ventilate. <laughs> Let's check out Luann and Luna's room next door. These two set up bunk beds to make room for Luna's instruments and amps and Luann's comedy props and stand-up stage. The lettuce was ahead and the tomato was trying to catch up. <laughs> Luna has the top bunk while Luann takes the bottom bunk. Hey, speaking of sleeping... What do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. <laughs> Lenny and Lori share the bedroom across the hall. This room is where a lot of the loud sibling meetings happen. I hereby call this meeting to order. Lisa, can you read the minutes from the last meeting? Item one, it was resolved. Forget that, we need to discuss this. It's a love letter and it's addressed to L Loud. Oh, dang it, I just swallowed my gum. And it's where Lori chats with her boyfriend, Bobby, AKA Boo Boo Bear. Boo Boo Bear, that's so sweet. When she gets the chance. I shall call you back, Boo Boo Bear. Lola! Hi, Boo Boo Bear. Lenny's the stylish one, so she has a mannequin, a sewing machine, and tons of fabric to put together her latest look. My sister told me big time. What was that? Uh, I said, I think we need to redo the hemline. 
Most of the time, the loud stick with this roomy setup, but they've changed it up a couple of times. <laughs> One thing that doesn't change? The huge line for the bathroom at the end of the hall. Come on, Luna, there's nine more people that need the bathroom. What do you expect from a house full of 13 people all sharing one bathroom? That's why mom and dad tried to build a second bathroom just for them. God, this must be what heaven is like. I'm doing a crossword puzzle on the toilet just cause I can. Let's head downstairs to check out the rest of the house. The living room has a huge couch so that all 11 kids can watch the dream boat together. I like Blaine. I bet he can bench 300 pounds. Blaine? But he wore flip-flops to their first date. I mean, I can't even. Lincoln's no, no. So no. Is Blaine even And Lincoln can watch ARG if his sisters don't claim the remote first. <laughs> Time for ARG. <laughs> you mean vampires of melancholia. <laughs> you mean prison pageants. The dining room is next to the living room. It has a giant table so that the louds can eat together as a family. Huh, big in, fam. But they use the dining room for more than just meals. Lincoln works on his school projects in here. Oh, watch out for Jupiter. He's full of gas. Hey, Lincoln. It's also great for game night. I win! Even when Lynn gets a little too competitive. I win! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! I thought we were having salmon. Speaking of chicken dinner, let's see what's cooking in the kitchen. This is where dad really shines. Just gotta chill the duck liver pate. I'll show him that I'm a star with my yummy take on caviar. The fridge can get pretty crowded with leftovers, like mac and cheese bites. I got dad's duck peppers. And I got dibs on his fried chicken. I get his minestrone. Uh, Lenny, it's pronounced minestrone. I call it minestrone, cause it's mine. A door in the kitchen leads down to the basement. The basement? The scariest place in the house. Ah! 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 So if that's what's down in the basement, what's up in the attic? Well, there's a box of vintage clothes. In case Lincoln wants to shake up his look, mom and dad keep the kids' baby books up here too. Next, let's head outside. There's the backyard, where Lenny learned to drive, and Lisa built her super secret bunker. You're gonna let us inside your super top secret bunker? Don't get any ideas. I will be changing the access code. And the front yard, where Lucy set up her legendary corn maze on Halloween. <laughs> Hang on, Luann. Your monster needs more stitches. That's so much better. <laughs> get it? No puns in the maze. So there you go, the full top to bottom tour of the Loud House. There's room for everyone, so it's perfect for the Louds.